I think agriculture was probably the original drive to innovate in society. That's probably where people started to do civil engineering projects. And agriculture was probably responsible for really bringing design into like a central part of human communities. My name is Rob Rock and I'm an organic vegetable farmer. Uh, I have a farm, Pitchfork Farm, down on the Intervale here in Burlington. But what I do in the off-season away from the farm is I'm a designer and um, fabricator, I guess is the word I'd use. So I, you know, I've worked for metal fabrication shops, industrial design shops. I've worked for sculptors, artists. Uh, but at this point, I'm kind of doing more of my own custom design and fabrication for my own farm tools. So I'm trying to start a farm tool manufacturing business called Upstream Ag. So I'm 36 years old, started farming in 2002, I want to say. And then I worked for a number of different farms in the Intervale up until 2009, where I partnered with one of my other friends who was farming down there, and uh, we started the Pitchfork Farm. So uh, welcome to Pitchfork Farm. Uh, we're down here on the Intervale in Burlington, Vermont. It is uh, middle of February, so not too much going on in the fields right now. So Pitchfork sells wholesale directly to about 25 restaurants right here in Chittenden County, mostly in Musky and Burlington. Over this way through the trees, we have all of our storage facilities, lock-in cooler, production greenhouses, and our workshop. Now, there was a big shakeup in North America in agriculture after World War II. It sort of became really industrial, uh, chemical-based. And some of this small scale organic ag is like going back almost like a hundred years to how people used to do it. So this is our storage barn where we have all of our walk-in coolers and cold storage. And we still have a fair amount of winter crops stored in one of our walk-ins uh, that we harvested last fall. We use hand tools on our farm that were probably developed 150 years ago. We use one cedar that was designed in like 1920, I'm gonna guess, or the 19-teens. There's tractors in use on the Intervale right now that were built in 1945. I mean, we're using like just this old equipment that kind of predated the trend towards industrial production. So up here we have watermelon radish, and this is what's left of our storage cabbage. Still have quite a bit of carrots back here, and, um, Really beautiful pur purple top turnips that we picked back in November. We could find gardening tools, or we could find stuff that was designed for a farm that was like 500 acres. And I was like, why isn't there anything in between? And obviously, because no one had been putting any effort into it. And I think that was my original sort of aha moment. Like, oh, this is what I want to do. I want to try to like design for this scale of farming, which is still kind of new. Some of my design thinking kind of goes into like equipment and then sometimes I'm thinking more in like, you know, how will we design software, you know, sort of for this next like wave of technology that's about to uh, become a big part of our lives, I'm going to assume. In the process, I've taught myself to, to weld, but I've also taught myself to develop iPhone apps. That's sort of the new thing I'm working on. We call it the prone weeder and you lay down on your stomach in a prone position. And this is the body pad here, and your forehead goes right up here. Most hand weeding, ordinarily, you are sort of down on one knee or on your hands and knees, and you're sort of leaning on one hand and reaching into the production bed like this. And it's tough on your knees, it can be tough on your back, on your wrist. Uh, but with this guy, you can keep both of your hands free. That was the big challenge of the whole thing. I wanted to make sure that both your hands could be going, you'd be twice as fast doing that kind of hand work. And I want it to be a lot more comfortable. A lot of nice foam cushioning. You're in the shade, you're out of the sun. Uh, if it's a little bit of a drizzle, you can still work out in the field pretty comfortably. You have two separate drive trains. There's an electric drive train here. There's a throttle on your left foot that uh, drives the left drive train and a throttle on your right foot for the right so you can kind of skid steer like a tank. And that's how you sort of cruise over the bed. You know, it's really intuitive. It takes a couple minutes to learn and it feels a little bit like you're wearing this bionic suit in a way. You kind of, you forget about the machinery and you can just kind of like float above your work and position yourself as you need to. It's come a long way. This is uh, version 5.0.
We have now so many new technologies and materials and ways to design new, new things, whether they're systems or tools. And so I'm pretty excited about that. That's kind of my, my hope to focus more on that in the next five years.